What is up guys, Nick here today, and welcome to my safe spot in Callisto guide. I'll be showcasing it on my pure, purely bald. These are my stats. I highly recommend having 85 range if you're going to be doing it on a pure. Uh, it makes it so much easier. You could do this with a chain mace on a main account. I definitely recommend either using Varox or uh, the Vigorous chain mace, but on a pure... Doing it with a crossbow is like the only way to make it somewhat efficient, and it's not efficient at all. So this is my inventory setup, I'll showcase this as well. I always bring a glory to teleport out, the archer's ring, and the ranger's tunic, along with the crossbow. I usually have like, I bring like 2k total charges, like 1k to charge it, and then a shit ton on top. It almost takes like 100 plus just to kill it on a pure, it's fucking whack. Uh, I have dragon claws to anti-pk with. Only about six food total, and then angler fish after I use the divine ranging pot when I first get there. A stamina pot, me running around quite a bit. A shit ton of prayer, and uh, super combat. Make sure you get an antidote plus plus for the little red spiders. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what tiles I use to mark, and then exactly how I run and get it in safe spot position. Uh, I'll be using it in a single way. I believe it's 37 wild where we go. So let's go. Uh, Let's go show you guys how it's done. Oh my god. I'm sitting here trying to get this recording going. So I'm finally out here 40 something wild. Let me get away from this thing so I can show you guys on the map. I always teleport in from the 50 wilderness obelisk because I have the thing in my house. You can use the Anacaro teleport. You can use the wilderness sword and the uh, wilderness crabs teleport spot to run up to here. So now that you are finally over by this like, little dick mound that sticks out. That's how, you know. You know, there's just appendages out here. Uh, you're going to mark this tile. This first tree that you're going to see, you're going to mark the tile that is three steps away from here. That's where we're going to lure Callisto to. And then I'll show you the tile we're going to mark south. So when we finally get Callisto into space, we're going to run around this rock pile and run straight down south to the square all the way down here. So this square is the furthest south that Callisto can aggro to. Once you take one step past the square, he's going to fuck right on off back to the north and never come back. So you'll have to run back up, attack him, and bring him back down. So we're going to go right down next to this tree. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Four steps, and you're going to mark this tile. And then there's another tile you can mark up here. I believe it's that one where he'll stop on this tile. That's when you know you have to run over here. Once you take one step past uh, this line right here, and you come right over here, he will not be able to aggro you anymore, and he'll get stuck right there, and that's when you attack him. So if you're using this with melee, you'll run up here, and you'll attack him. If you're using it with range, you can stay wherever the hell you want, and it's really convenient. So those are the tiles you need to mark. I'll go ahead and show you guys how the lore is done. All right, so I never know what to pray. I think I always toss on prey melee. You're going to want a magic longbow if you're using melee. It's a 100% chance of hitting if you use the special attack. I'm pretty sure it's 100% chance, but I don't bring it on here just because I can't be fucking asked. I'd rather have the... I don't even have my damn blessing on. Whatever. I'm scuffed. I was gonna say, I'd rather the prayer bonus as I'm sitting there with a naked-ass inventory spot. Alright, so, when Callisto is standing at this tree, you might have the lesser demon there. You're gonna get attacked by the poison spider. Like I said, we're gonna run this way around this mountain. If you run straight down, he is gonna attack you and he can hit up to 50s. Uh, this reduces the chance of getting mauled out while you're running down. So we're going to run down to the square. And then once he stops over here, I'm pretty sure that's the correct tile. So now he did that attack, which sends me flying. Once I get past the square, it sends him back off, fucking off to the north. So that's just a, it's actually a good example while I'm trying to set this up. So that can happen. There's times where he'll use this other magic attack where, I think it's magic, I don't know, but it can hit like 50s and stuff, and it does a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Alright, lure him over, and now he's in the spot where he can't get out. So, lag. While I'm on a pure ranging, I like to stand as far south as possible. That way if any PKers do come in, as you can see, I can be attacked up to 118s. Uh, I'm pretty much fucked. I mean, six levels of tanking isn't terrible, but if it's anybody worth a damn that knows what they're doing, it's really hard to escape when you're one defense. But uh, I also do this on the 1750 world. Highly recommend it if you have the ability to use skill total worlds. It'll save you a lot of times dying and having to teleport out. Not to say that there aren't people at PK here on 
1750s and skill total worlds, but it'll definitely reduce the amount. So that's what I recommend. You can mark this tile up here if you want. Uh, I'll show you where it is after this, but it's honestly, just, I think it's three steps south of this stump. One, two, three, four. Um, so just mark that tile as well. I forget to show that one. I kind of just wung it when I was saying I'm here. I've done enough kills. So I'll test this for an hour. I'll tell you guys exactly how many kills I get in an hour on this account. I started at 42 minutes and, uh, We'll go from there. Hopefully we get some good drops and I wish you guys the best of luck on the pet. If you guys have any questions or concerns and you don't give a fuck about the loot from an hour, uh, let me know down in the comments. I will help you the best that I can. Hopefully it's helped you set up your Callisto kills and wish you all the best of luck on the pet. I'll see you with the loot from an hour after that. All right, so this is going to finish up the full hour. Uh, the loot was pretty shit. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> So I got 13 kills within a full hour of doing Callisto, as you can see. The zero trains is running strong. I had one point, let's see, I filled, I filled this motherfucker up before I came back out. Uh, 1,100 charges in one trip, right? So that is, let's see, four, shit, like six, seven kills. And I used over 800 charges. Like, I'm not exaggerating when I was saying that some of these kills, it just... It's so slow on a pure. So I'll show you guys the final loot when I get to the bank. We did 13 kills in an hour. So my guess is you could probably get up to 15 as a pure. With some kills being a little faster than others. But goddamn, This pet grind ain't going to be fun. <laughs> Alright so this is the final loot. It's pretty pathetic. But 500k. Sorry. My uh, little thing is in the way here. 500k. Uh, we also got a Laren's key. I am on Sire Task. I have, like, I don't know, 15 more. Yeah. So, not too bad. Could have been better. I did it earlier, and I got a mil and six kills. I got two of the Renard Seed drops. They're, like, 70k each at the moment or something crazy. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all on how it's done or you're not getting it right, let me know. Wish you guys the best of luck on the pet. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it from me. On to the outro, Forlorn Homestead for the fucking win.